so I started in um, computer science, actually, was where I studied, computer science and uh, computer engineering. Uh, so I thought I wanted to build, uh, build computers. And then I discovered software, um, probably later than most, but uh, I really liked the creative outlets in uh, software development. Um, and then that's really only in hindsight, like I don't think I knew that at the time. But uh, after school, I worked for a, a company called Silicon Graphics for a while and uh, got very deep into 3D computer graphics, uh, both in developing and uh, developing it on the software side and, and also on the hardware side. And uh, moved from there to work with the the National Center for Supercomputing Applications, where I used 3D graphics to illustrate scientific data. Um, and we would work in uh, early virtual reality systems and uh, high and multi-resolution display systems. Um, and it was really great. It was really great to see how the visual could inform information and the two could come together in one place um, and I started to get really very interested in how people interfaced with those systems because it was very clunky back in the early days so we studied a lot of human computer interface and uh, the hardest parts of that are when you're using technology in public spaces and uh, so my boss and I moved to uh, Indiana University to study technology in public spaces. Uh, and museums are among the best sort of battlegrounds to try out uh, user interfaces for technology because you're just flooded with real people all the time. Uh, and that was incredibly addicting to me to be able to do those projects and to work in the context of a museum because the impact was very tangible. Um, and I guess I kind of discovered at that time that I wanted to be an impact junkie. Um, so so I, made the, I made the switch to museums and, and the Indianapolis Museum of Art in particular. And the thing that I didn't anticipate was that um, how much I would enjoy being surrounded by really intelligent people but a really a high variety of intelligences. Not uh, in academia, in your field, there are very smart people, but they all know exactly the things that you know. And in art museums, especially as a technologist, I was surrounded by very smart people that knew lots of things that I had no clue about. And that was very, very uh, exciting. Still is very exciting. So that's how I got, uh, that's how I got involved in museums.